Hey, what's up everybody? Today, we'll be learning about how to open up defensive players. So, you picked up Street Fighter 6, learned your combos, and practiced them in training mode. Great! But I'm sure you've all come across very defensive players, or turtles, who seem impossible to hit and do combos on. You try to change your attack timing, and everything gets blocked. You try to dash in for a throw, and they tech your throw too. Finally, you jump in for a surprise attack, but you get anti-air even if you try to cross them up. In this video, I'll show you two easy ways to open up these kinds of defensive players. Let's look at players who always break your throws first. These players will let you get close, block your attacks, and wait for you to try to throw. These players are using a late throw timing to always break your throws. To beat this kind of defense, try to do a shimmy from mid-screen. To do this, walk into throw range, then take a step back as soon as you get into that throw range. This should trick the player into doing a throw tech, but since you backed up, the throw will miss. You can then react with a fast, long-reaching attack to hit them during their missed throw animation. This is called a shimmy. If you want to learn more about shimmies, check out my video about them here. The next type of defensive player won't let you in to attempt a throw. They will use long-range buttons to keep you out of their space. This depends on the character, but generally speaking, Crouching medium kicks have long range and decent speed, so most players will use these to keep you out. You might think that jumping is the answer, but this is very risky and will most likely get you anti-aired. Here's what you should do instead. First, take a look at the range on Ryu's crouching medium kick. Try it out in training mode and get a feel for the spacing where he can hit you. What we need to do is whiff punish this attack. From neutral, Walk forward into the tip of Ryu's crouching medium kick. Then, take a small step back. Your forward movement will make the Ryu player think you are coming in and they'll probably push crouching medium kick. But, since you walk back just as you enter crouching medium kick range, the attack will miss. Much like the shimmy example above, you'll want to respond with your own long range special cancelable normal to whiff punish. Adding mid-screen shimmies and whiff punishes to your game plan will not only allow you to combo your opponents and get damage, but it'll give your opponents more things to look out for and be careful about in neutral. You can practice all of this in training mode, but in my opinion, practicing the mid-screen shimmy and whiff punishing is best practiced in real matches. Try practicing these in a casual match, since it won't affect your online rank, and don't worry about winning or losing. Just try to land mid-screen shimmies and walking in and out of crouching medium kick range for a whiff punish. If you land them, congrats! Count these as mental victories regardless of whether you win or lose the casual match. I guarantee that doing this will make you a better player and you'll rank up in no time next time you play ranked matches. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Also, leave a comment below and let me know if these tips helped you rank up. Until next time, take care.